Hey guys, this is Jen. Find it, sign on, go to your account. Then this comes up. It will tell you your purchases. Then you can download it. Once you have downloaded it, it comes to you in a zipped format. So you will then go to your files, and your files will be wherever you just saved that little bad boy. And I saved mine at the Hungry JPEG Craft Bundles right here. So you're going to click on that, and that's going to pop open your folder structure. Maybe. After it thinks about it for a little while. Okay. Jeez. All right, so here it is. It's zipped. So I have a Windows computer. With Macs, you don't unzip these. Okay, so here's my zip. Yes, it is unzipped up there, but just ignore that. Okay, so either I can right click one time on that, and it's going to bring up my right click options menu because I have seven zip installed, and that will allow me to unzip this whole bundle. <laughs> my computer must be on strike today. Wow doesn't normally take this long okay so here's my 7 zip I can extract to the huge holiday craft bundle okay so if I click that I'll get a message that tells me I already did it but I'll show you what it looks like oh my goodness oh my antivirus okay come on there little guy Come on. There we go. So here's what it'll do. It'll go through there and it will unzip it for you. I'm going to cancel this because it, I'll get a message telling me I've already done it. So you go through and let that happen if you have 7-zip. I will also show the extractor that comes built into all Windows programs. <laughs> if this will ever respond. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. No to all. Cancel. Yes. Okay. So right here I can left click one time and that will highlight that. I can come up here to extract. Please just work. Okay. And it'll say extract all. Okay. We'll, ex we'll click on extract all. Okay, and that allows you to choose a destination, which it'll put it in the huge holiday craft bundle, just extract it. So if I click extract, I'll get the same message that I've already done it, okay? So that's how you unzip. I need to tune up my computer, hold on. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy. So in here is the documentation, the fonts, and the graphics. Let's click on graphics. I'm going to come in here to the compile graphics. That's going to give me the choice between DXF and SVG. Let's take a look at the SVGs. Mind you, I have Embrilliance's Thumbnailer. That is why my SVGs are fully viewable. For those of you that have Embrilliance's Thumbnailer and are not able to see these like this, Go to Embrilliance and download the update. Okay, so this is all the cool little stuff that's in here on the uh, graphics files. Got some pretty cool stuff. If you check out the videos that I am doing on some of these projects, you will get to see me actually make stuff out of these, okay? Because when you buy this bundle, you can make projects out of these, but please do not ever sell the files. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to have to make maybe this one. I'm going to be using the foxes for one of them. I'm going to be using this one. Um, the foxes, and those are down here towards the bottom. I probably just blasted past them. Yep, I did. 
Okay, but this is all the cool stuff that's in them. Yeah, there's the boxes, so I'm going to use some of them. Look at all this fancy stuff. All right, so you're back up here. Let's check out the fonts. There are some really cool fonts in here. Now, for those of us that use Scal, we understand that we can either import these permanently into Shortcuts a lot, or we can do a temporary load. And I tend to do temporary. Um, please use the OTF, the open type font, when possible. Uh, true type, we only use if the open type is not available. So let's click on this and see what this looks like. I will also be using, I believe it is this one, uh, with the Fox, yes, uh, with the Fox file. So when I do my videos, you will get to see me actually use the fonts as well. But this is how you can have access to everything inside of the Hungry JPEGs uh, craft bundle bundles, as well as also the Hungry JPEG bundles, because it's done the exact same way, guys. All right, if you have any questions, um, you can either uh, ask uh, here at the craft bundles, or you can also find me piddling around over at my own uh, Facebook page. That is called Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help. Uh, my help is designed for folks that use the Scan and Cut, uh, the Canvas program, and sure cuts a lot for regular. Thanks, guys.